This is the Trump Breaking News Network. Here's what's happening. Trump's inaugural address will be inspired by Reagan, JFK. By Alicia Powell. Donald Trump is reportedly writing the first draft of his inaugural speech himself. The president elect reportedly told visitors at Mar a Lago, the South Florida club where he is spending the holiday, that he is drawing inspiration for his inaugural address from his predecessors Ronald Reagan and John F. Kennedy. Trump is enamored with Reagan's confident style and how he connected with the country, a source who spoke to Trump told The Washington Post. The insider claims Trump noted President Kennedy's upcoming 100th birthday and is inspired by JFK's ability to get the country motivated, to go to the moon. He went on and on about Reagan and how much he admires him. But it wasn't all about Reagan. He spoke about Kennedy and how he was able to get the country motivated, to go to the moon, the person said. He's thinking about both men as he starts to write the speech, which is something he's now taking the lead on. The insider requested anonymity because they were not authorized to discuss the conversation. Presidential historian Douglas Brinkley, Bloomberg columnist Margaret Carlson, Democratic lobbyist Thomas Quinn and Newsmax media chief executive Christopher Ruddy, who is a longtime friend of the president-elect, were in attendance of Trump's private lunch at his Mar-a-Lago club. Brinkley provided the Chicago Tribune with more insight of Trump's meeting. I was there as a presidential historian, telling stories and listening to his view of the presidency," Brinkley said. When I raised the fact that I was writing a book about Kennedy and the moonshot and NASA, he did talk about how he admires Kennedy in addition to Reagan. There was admiration for Reagan's style and for Kennedy. He recognizes that he's entering a club, he continued. Even if he didn't spend a lifetime reading presidential biographies. He appreciates that he is joining the club and is learning more about its traditions. While Trump is personally involved in the drafting process, he is not single-handedly writing his speech. Earlier this week the Trump's transition team announced that he has tapped Stephen Miller, incoming senior White House adviser for policy, to write the historic speech that Trump will deliver January 20. Miller spent part of last week in Mar-a-Lago with Trump and has consulted with a variety of sources as he crafts an initial draft. The major themes of the address are expected to be border security, the economy, military preparedness, infrastructure and the nation's education system, some of the main issues Trump spoke of during the campaign. The president-elect told visitors that he is also spending time in Florida to focusing his attention on veterans' health issues and promised it will also be a priority in his administration. What do you think? Scroll down to comment below. This has been the Trump Breaking News Network. Please subscribe and share to stay up to date on the latest news about our president. Be informed.